Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In the last session, I have discussed static and automatic functions. So now we will see pass by value and pass by reference mechanism. These are all the argument passing mechanisms. Okay, we will see what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference. So in the pass by value, if any changes to the arguments within the subroutine, those changes will not be visible outside the subroutine. Subroutine is in the sense this function inside the function, whatever happens, it is a subroutine. Okay. So in the pass by value, as the name suggests, we will pass the values here. When we call the function, we will pass the values. So that passed value will be copied locally in the subroutine. Okay. When we pass the values, that values will be copied and based on that value, it will go into return something. Okay. So by using that values, we will perform some operation, right? When we are performing operation, the variable's value will be changed. Right? When we pass the value and if we perform the operation on that variable, that changes will not be visible outside the function. Okay? That changes will not be visible outside the function. That is because it just copies that values. It just copies that values locally. Because when we pass the values, it will go into take that values and it will perform some operation. But that changes that it will not go into affect the original variable. That is nothing but here x and y. Now we will see example, then you can understand better. Here one example, okay, pass by value example. I have a three variables, x, y, z. This is my function, sum function, okay. I'm going to add the uh, variables. That's why this function name is sum here. And I have two arguments here, x and y. In the initial begin, I'm giving the, assigning the value. x is 20, y is 30. So, I'm printing the x and y values here. So, I will get 20 and 30 here. After that, I'm calling the function sum x comma y. That means I'm passing 20 and 30 here. I'm using x and y, right? I'm passing 20 and 30 and I'm assigning that to the variable z. Now I'm printing all the three variables. So when I pass this value 20 and 30, it goes to here and it will copy this 20 and 30 locally. Okay, it will just copy that variable. Here, x plus y is there. What is the value of x? 20. What is the value of y? 30. 20 plus 30. x is equals to 50. Because I'm assigning that uh, expression to the variable x. Now I performed one operation on the variable, right? So x I got 50. Now after that I am performing y. x plus y is, y is equals to x plus y. What was the updated value of x? 50. So this 50 plus what is the value of y? 30. 50 plus 30, 80. I got the value 80 for y. So now what is the value of x and y? 50 and 80. I am returning x plus y here. So 50 plus 80 how much? 130. According to this pass by value, for x and y, I should not get 50 and 80. Even though if you perform the operation, you should not, it will not go into uh, visible. Okay. See here. Before that, I was printing right here. Hmm. Here. This display statement. I am getting 20 and 30. After that, I am printing all these three variables. x and y. x, y, z. So, I am getting 20, 30, 130. See, same values, 20, 30, 20, 30. For output only, I am getting 130. Because any changes made, made within the subroutine will not be visible outside the function. This is pass by value. Because it is just going to copy the value. It is not going to reference to the original variable. So, any changes made to the variable will not be visible outside the function. That's why you are getting the values 20 and 30. And and that updated value is used for the use it to perform the operation, use it to return the expression or value. Okay, but that changes will not be visible outside. This is the pass by value mechanism. But when we come to the pass by reference, here as the name suggests, pass by reference. Okay, it will go into refer to the original argument, original variable. That's why any changes made inside the subroutine will be visible outside. Okay, now we will see an example. So, same function, okay, same function. As the argument within the subroutine is pointing to an original argument, any changes to the arguments within the subroutine will be visible outside. This is opposite to the pass by value because uh, first of all, we are, use, we are using ref keyword here. In the pass by reference, we are using ref keyword. So, it makes, what it makes, it will um, reference to the original arguments. Okay, reference means when you pass the values, 
it is going to refer to the original value that means any changes made to this variables will be affected outside it is visible to outside okay same example 20 and 30 i'm passing here it goes to here since we are using ref keyword this is the pass by reference okay this is, this is denoted by using the ref keyword so i'm taking this value i'm go, i'm getting x is 50 y is 80 so x plus y value becomes 130 so this 50 and 80 is visible this time i i will run the code this time i'm getting the value 50 and 80 for x and y see here this is previous value 20 and 30 now i'm getting x is 50 y is 80 and z is 130 that means any changes made to the variable inside the subroutine is visible outside can be visible outside okay this is passed by reference and how we can avoid this uh, changes how we can avoid by using the const keyword if you use const keyword you can avoid the updation you can avoid this um, reference okay now you can see i will get the error message or warning message Const variable is either driven or connected to a non-const variable. Variable Y declared as a const cannot be used in the context. So if you use the const keyword, the value will not be changed. Because const means what? Const is X and Y are constant. You cannot change the values. But what is passed by reference? Any changes made to the variable inside the subroutine will be affected, will be visible outside. But since it is a we are using const keyword, it is not going to... Um, it is not going to happen that changes it will not allow okay that's why it is showing error it is not allowing this is by uh, we, you can avoid the reference by using the const keyword and one more thing is this um, some simulator will not support the static function to use this ref keyword okay i will show you only synopsis is supporting I am running this code by using the synopsis PCS simulator. So now I will run by using the cadence. You can see the error message. What it is telling? Reference argument is illegal inside the static task function declaration. Even this also. Aldec also. It will also show an error. See cannot use port of type ref in a non-automatic task or function sum. Some simulator will not support atom, uh, static function to use ref keyword. You have to use automatic. Okay. Automatic keyword. If you use automatic keyword, then it will support. Automatic function can use the ref keyword then all simulator will support okay see i am getting the values now i will run by using the cadence now also i will get the value this thing one you have to remember all simulator will not support this static function to use the ref keyword this synopsis is working okay see i am getting the value for that you need to use the automatic keyword automatic function will support this ref keyword okay this is the one thing you need to remember now we will see default value I hope you understand what is pass by value and pass by reference. In pass by value, since we are passing the value, it copies the values locally and any changes made to that variable will not be visible outside. And in uh, pass by reference, since we are referencing to the original variable, any changes made within the subroutine or within the function will be visible outside the function. Okay. And we need to use the ref keyword in the pass by reference. Now we will see default value. So, if no arguments are passed, then default values are considered in the function. Okay. So, this default values will be overwritten in case of passing any arguments. Now, we will see how it works. This is the default value. Okay. If you don't pass any arguments, it will consider the local, uh, it will consider the default values. Here, first I will run the code. You will see same function here this is this is my default value x is 5 y is 10 z is 15 i'm fixing these values if you don't give the values also it will take the this um, value that means based on the data type it will consider the default value since it is int type if you don't mention 5 10 15 it will take 
it will consider 0 0 0 that is the default value okay here i am not passing any value so it will take 5 10 15 now so x plus y plus z 10 5 15 okay what's value of uh, 5 10 15 15 15 30 here here i am getting x is equals to 30 and that 30 i am what what i am returning x plus y 30 plus what is the value of y 10 30 plus 10 40 okay 30 30 plus 10 40 so i am getting 40 here okay this is by default also you can give like this 5 only you can pass only one value that time it will be overridden okay it will be override because you are passing 5 value here so and for x and y you are not passing and only you are passing 5 that means z will take 5 value and for rest of the value rest of the variables will take the default value that is 5 and 10 okay this is one thing you need to remember default value if you don't pass any argument it will going to take the default value this is about default value now we will see pass by position and pass by name okay how we can pass the values by position and by name so by default this, this system value allows passing values in the same order which is specified in the functions so by default we, we already seen right so how we will write inside the function how we will write in the function definition same order it will take the passing values the passed values will just take the same order as we mentioned in the function definitions so we will see pass by position or pass by name okay how like here this uh, passing a value by name and position allows arguments to be passed by the name irrespective of the position mentioned in the function definition okay here you can you can pass the values in the any position any order no need to uh, pass the uh, values like same in the function definition okay pass by name means by using the dot method here you need to mention the uh, variable name means for which variable you want to pass the value that you need to mention so here you can see i have function display function here i have two arguments x and y x is of real type and y is a string type okay so in the initial begin what i am doing i am calling display function here i am passing the values by name and position here you can see my order is changed right first i am passing y and second i am passing x but in the function definition how i have x first y second but here y first x second but what i am doing how you how it will understand because by using this name method dot y that means this y variable i am giving value welcome to vlsi because it is a string type okay that's why i am passing uh, within the double quote welcome to vlsi and dot x dot x means first argument real type so i am passing 20.23 2023 okay this is what i meant 20.23 so now I will run the code, you will understand. See, x value is 20.230000 and y is welcome to VLSI. Okay, so irrespective of the order, irrespective of the position of the function definition, you can pass the value by using the dot method. Dot of the dot and the variable name and what you want to pass. Okay, you can take any position you can uh, you can shuffle the position also and you can pass the value with respect to the variable name dot y dot x like this you need to write so this is about pass by position and pass by name uh, now we almost completed the functions next we will see task okay, thank you